Hello, welcome to the new video from City and Express. Today we're going to be doing unboxing and setup. It's a Canon IP7250. It's our edible printer that comes with refillable cartridges. Uh, so this is what you're going to receive if you purchase this kit. The only variation that you tend to get will be the papers. So you may or may not see some papers in here that you've ordered. Uh, we do have quite a few different options for that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out of the box and um, what we'll do is I'll take everything out to start with, start setting the printer up and then talk you through how to set it up and what comes with the kit. So to, to start with I'm just going to take everything out and I'll come back to it step by step. So I'm going to remove all the packaging from the printer. And that's it, that's all, all of that removed. Uh, then I'm going to power it on. So, first things in the box uh, power lead. So, I'm just going to pop the printer on, power that up. And what that's going to do when I power it on. Oh, we've got some more packing tape here. The print head's going to move over to the middle. And then when it's, when it's sat over in the middle, I'm going to just power the printer back off again. Or I'm going to unplug it while I do this. So what will happen is the printer will come over, the printer head will come over and park in the middle uh, and then we'll just run through everything and the setup. Right, so included in the box that came with it we have four syringes and four needles. You have five cartridges but two of them are black, they are the same. You have a free silicon mould while, uh, while stocks last. Uh, they basically you can just use that for soap, chocolate, ice, various other things. Canon drivers, we have the uh, Canon driver disc and the setup instructions. That will be the one that you need. If you're on a Mac and you don't have a CD-ROM drive, you can download the drivers directly from the Canon website. You have uh, a, a nozzle check alignment sheet. You won't need this for the edible printing. USB cable, 
This kit is uh, the one with 25 wafer paper. So this is our rice paper in a sealed pack. 25 sheets of this kit. As I said, this is what the, the one that tends to vary. Uh, we do have icing paper. We have kits with 50 uh, wafer papers, 100 wafer. We have 100 wafer, various different options. So you may or may not get more or less of that. We have uh, auto reset cartridges. Uh, so these are... Uh, You'll fill these with ink, which I'll show you. Pop them into your printer. Now, the ink levels will be monitored when it gets down to 0%. So you'll go through a low setting, then it'll go to 0. When it gets to 0, you can take them out, refill them, pop them back in, and away you go. Ink, you have 250ml of large black, uh, or for the large cartridge and small cartridge, that's this large black bottle here. And then 100ml of each of the colour, cyan, magenta, and yellow. And then we have our we have our edible disc. So this is full of images, templates, uh, and various instructions, and lots of other information and some guides. We do have a video for this, showing you how to insert templates, make your own. It's a very detailed video. Uh, it should be on the product page that you're looking at. So yeah, this is a, an invaluable tool for your edible kit. Right, so the printhead's come over to the middle. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to unplug the printer. Uh, so the reason that I've unplugged the printer is that after about five minutes, the head, uh, it goes into like, a, into like a sleep mode and the printhead can fly off back over to the right-hand side when you don't want it to. Uh, and then you have to switch it on and off. So I've just temporarily uh, unplugged the printer. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set up, uh, I'm going to fill one cartridge, show you how to fill one cartridge. Uh, I, to cut down on the video time, uh, I have one, a printer set up and filled already which I'll show you. Uh, so when, when we pop these in the printer, the full set, it takes around 10 or 15 minutes to initialize and charge the first time cell. So I'm not going to put that in the video, I'm just going to show you how to do one. Uh, and then what will happen is you'll do, uh, you'll do all of the rest uh, and then just switch your printer on and then I'll take it from there to show you. So to refill the cartridges, just take the coloured plug out and remove the, the yellow tape. Now when you remove the yellow tape, what we'd recommend that you do is you just check that the breather hole is clear and there's no cellophane uh, covering that. Sometimes you can get a little bit of residue from the tape covering that hole. So just check that it's clear. And then you have your ink. And then we're just going to fill this one off. Now obviously I'm doing this over the printer. You can have, just so you can see, you can have some uh, tissue down uh, or a piece of kitchen towel or anything while you do it. So you need to fill the uh, front compartment and the back compartment. We've had a few customers lately uh, that have only been filling the, this part with the sponge and leaving the back compartment empty, totally empty. They won't work if the back compartment's totally empty because the sponge will start to dry out. So it should have ink in the front and the back compartment. So I'm going to replace replace the colored plug and then pop it in the printer. So just take this needle away. So you will repeat the process for all five uh, and you'll have a full set of five refillable cartridges and then you'll pop them in the printer. So to pop them in the printer, just take the orange cap off, lift it up slowly and pop it in the printer. So you will repeat the process for all five. Uh, 
Uh, then you'll power the printer back on. And that will, that will go through uh, a set up procedure which will last around 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm not going to do this on the video, I have a printer already set up. So I'm just going to pop this to one side and then bring the printer from the back uh, already set up. Just to cut down, I don't want you to see 15 minutes of a video of a printer doing nothing. Uh, so we have one that's already pre-filled and set up. Power this one on. And um, we're going to load some wafer paper in the bottom. Uh, now, before you do any printing, we do recommend that you, once you've installed the drivers, that you get a good nozzle check print from it. So you can go into the printer properties, click on the maintenance tab, and do a nozzle check, and make sure that you have uh, this sheet. Uh, showing the colours. If you've got any blocked nozzles you'll need to carry out a deep clean also within uh, within the software you'll see that on the driver. So basically access the printer properties you can also go press file and print on the document then click on the properties then on the maintenance tab and you'll see the deep cleaning nozzle checks and that. Sometimes you can get away with not having to do one sometimes it's necessary to do some. So we're going to load the paper in, they will be loaded in with the side, uh, the side you want to print on face down. So I'm going to pop this in, uh, open the printer and then we'll run a print off. So if you just bear with me. I'm just going to select a document to print for you. As you can see, this is a, it's a great little kit. It'll take about 25 minutes uh, to set up from start to finish. Uh, I think we are currently one of the cheapest around, uh, and we do basically offer a warranty on this kit as well. So just bear with me, I'm just selecting the, uh, the printer. So what I've done is I've told it to do a nozzle check print just to make sure uh, that we're getting a good one. So we do have a good nozzle check, uh, so it's always worth checking on a plain sheet of paper, do you have a good nozzle check before we start. So I'm just going to pop that in. And then let's uh, print our image. So while it's printing that, this is the other paper we do. Uh, we do the decor writing sheets, come in a foil sealed pack. Uh, we do recommend that once open, you do uh, reseal everything, wafer paper and these papers, just to maintain their freshness and the longevity. And again, it's. It is, uh, it is back, so they will go in again with the face down that you want to print onto. This smells so sweet.
So Prentice just thinking about it, just bear with us. So as you can see with this kit, it's really simple to set up. Make a great present for someone. And there's been a few times when my daughter's collared me uh, for printing stuff off for her cooking classes at school. Uh, she always likes to be unique. So don't worry about all the ink on my hands. I've had a busy morning uh, here at City Ink Express uh, testing and doing all sorts. You won't get any ink on your hands from this. So that's the rice paper result. And um, what I'm going to do is just going to pop this deco icing sheet in for you to see. So when you load the bottom paper tray, I do recommend that you just load a few sheets at a time. You generally can't handle uh, large wads of paper. So just especially with the thicker icing sheets, probably just one sheet at a time. With the wafer paper, you can put maybe more in. I've never really done a test, but a few sheets at a time uh, is the best solution for loading the paper. So I'll just let this uh, print off, and then, and then we're done, to be honest. So the light's still flashing, what that means is the document's spalling. I've sent it from the computer to the printer. It's a large image, so just take some time to spool. Uh, this is a USB printer only, it's not a wireless one. We don't offer uh, a wireless one. I do apologise, I have got that wrong. It is a wireless printer. Uh, yeah, rookie mistake, it, is, it can offer a wireless printing as well, it's just force of habit straight onto USB. Uh, yeah, so it can print wireless. So what that sounds like to me, it sounds like it's uh, not grabbed the paper uh, properly. So what that has happened, yeah, so I will show you what's happened. Take the paper out of the back. Now, what has happened, I'm just going to cancel the job. So when I've put the paper in, I've not fed it all the way up to the end and adjusted the, the sheet so that the paper printer can grab it. So just done that. So that's what happened. So there's no point in me cutting this out because if it 
happens to me, it can happen to you. Uh, so let's just resend that. Yeah, so I can tell by the noise uh, it's grabbed that sheet of paper. Uh, so yeah, just to, just to remind on that one, you need to make sure that it's aligned within the tray. That way it will grab the paper. If it's not aligned, uh, it's not going to grab the paper. And that is our icing paper. And that's it, that's our IP7250 edible printer with refillable cartridges uh, for from City Ink Express. That's it, thank you.